we believe that with this pullout section exposing the decks in this area, this area may be accessible from the side. And if accessible from the side, we might be able to put an ROV in there and take a peek. ROV stands for Remotely Operated Vehicle. For the most part, it's a remotely operated underwater eyeball with an unlimited amount of bottom time. What are the displays exactly? Yeah, I have three different cameras on the system. I have one HD camera that's facing forward, and then I have one aft cam and one regular underneath the big HD. Yes, there you go. That's the cam. Oh, very nice. This expedition is much larger. We have a lot more capability here. This is quite possibly the best conditions I've seen on this wreck. But we can't waste time. Uh, we can put an ROV down, further explore the area, and see what we can find. And that visibility at the bottom, and that light at the bottom, at this depth, it was always dark. But when you're dealing with something on the bottom of the sea, just being able to see what's going on is an invaluable asset. Operating an ROV on a project like this is a very difficult task. You want to know what the hazards are, what the obstructions are, and where the targets are, the areas of interest. We want to be able to provide that information to the divers, who we can also track on the bottom and give them direction specifically to our targets of interest. Right now, I'm heading due northwest, and I'm at 245 feet. The ROV itself cost a half a million dollars. And that's the least of your concerns when you have a diver in the water. You have limited visibility. You can't just turn your head and see what's next to you. You've got a camera that looks straight ahead. You've got a camera that looks back. Reverse. Lance is our ROV operator, and he's a character. Roger, roger. Ready to go. That is a crevasse. <laughs> hey, look at that. We have a fan. Yep, we have a fan. Hey, he's giving hey, us a little buddy. kiss. What is that thing? Yeah, I've never seen that here before. He's a pretty good ROV operator. He's gotten that ROV into some pretty tight spots, and he's gotten it back out. That was... Make a good team. You're the ROV handler, and I'm the diver eyes. Yeah. Yep. It can take a cool head, and uh, so far, Lance is doing a pretty good job. The diver is hand-carrying our small ROV, which is not much bigger than a shoebox. It's perfect to get into some of these little pockets that we may discover that there's no way you could get a human into, just to be our remote set of eyes, hopefully, getting significantly inside the wreck, and that could shed a whole lot of light on what we're doing here. All right, go ahead and uh, one more time, last that time. Looks one like the deck section, house one Yeah. There she is. Well, let's come back down. How's that? That's the deck house pulled yep. over. We That's are. That's the deck house right there. We're close to our sweet spot. Yep. Right and then that should be the hole right there, There's guys. There we go. There's a hole. This makes you want to go f***ing dive it. Republic beat him the first time. It consumed him. We're dealing with the largest treasure ship in history. I cannot leave this unresolved. The fight is far from over. We will recover the Republic's gold.